السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هداه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد We still speaking in chapter 3 about البيوع المنهي عنها بسبب الغرر We speaking about the prohibited sales and the reason of that sales is الغرر And we explained uh, last week what is الغرر and we gonna say that word in Arabic and we said the الغرر when the somebody buying something and the owner, the first owner knows what is the problem what is the problem with the commodity or the merchandise and still he hide this he hide it from the buyer he hide it from the buyer and we say that is gharar but if the buyer or the seller the owner he does not know what is in the problem with the commodity or the merchandise we say that is jahala jahala so the difference between Gharar is prohibited. Jahala, both parties didn't know what was the problem. And we give some example with that. And today we'll just finish this chapter, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, uh, before the midterm. And we stop in some kind of uh, masail, masail or some kind of issues uh, regarding this before the whole, we finish the whole chapter. Uh, and that is Bay' al Ghaib wal Mawsuf. Uh, is selling uh, the al ghaib that means something invisible, something is not exist now, cannot see. Ghaib, mawsuf described, and a lot of us we buy these things right now online. Uh, a lot of people they buying this online. Uh, uh, you buy a lot of things. You see the picture, not the real things. You see the picture, and you see the description of that commodity or merchandise for example the laptop you see this that brand of the laptop and then the how many gigabyte or how many this and that and they, they see the description and is that the certain is that description is the same uh, uh, things i'm buying or not that is the things we buy we deal with it right now in our present time so this is a chapter or this mas'ala or this problem saying bay al ghaib wal mawsuf the selling of the al ghaib that means the absence and the disc described absence but is a described and the author said they call the muallif al mabi'at ala naw'ain the selling merchandise or commodity in two things he said mabi'un hadirun mar'i fa hadha la khilafa fi bay'i Hadirun mar'i, something you see, one kind, two kinds. One kind, hadir, that's meaning present and visible. Present and visible. See, there is no doubt among the scholars, there is no doubt among the scholars to sell this. That mean there is no halal, it's halal 100%. Mabi'un, some commodity, merchandise, is not visible, is not present, and or hard to see, or he said hard to see, something not there, but mawsuf, is not in front of my eyes, but is described, is described, and he said, فهناك اختلاف للعلماء, there is a different regarding the opinion among the scholars regarding this and at least this is really important because something we use in our present time this is really something we can we use most of the time a lot of things we buy online we see the pictures but we didn't see the physical merchandise commodity commodity <clears throat> uh, okay now he said it is different between the scholars regarding this issue some of the scholar, this is anything absent is not visible, not in front of my eyes. He said that is that haram period. Haram period. There is some people they say that. And he said, 
وما لم يوصف وهذا أشهر قولي الشافعي لا ما وصف say even you describe or not described described or not described that is prohibited according to some of the scholars and one of the opinion of the Imam al-Shafi'i as well not the they have two opinions the Imam al-Shafi'i says one of his opinion one of his opinion in the past before he said <coughs> again let me repeat this say لا يجوز بحال من لا يجوز this means is not valid is prohibited in all kind لا ما وصف وما لم يصف even describe or you don't describe is not it is haram. Let's take an example. A horse. But there's an example is a horse. Say I have a horse in my land. You don't describe male or female, the age, racing, whatever it is, a horse. According to some scholar that is prohibited to sell something like this. Laptop. I didn't say what kind of laptop. What kind of this? You just like I have a laptop and this is one thousand dollars. Say according to one of the scholar, uh, uh, one of the opinion of the Imam Shafi'i, and some of scholar, they says is prohibited to sell something like this. Why? Because not visible, not visible. And also, he said the author said, وهو المنصوص عند أصحابه عن الغائب عن عن الصفة لا يجوز. Is it anything absence according to the scholar? Say anything absence is not visible. You cannot sell. وقال مالك the new book says Malik, Imam Malik, but also in the opinion of Abu Hanifa and Ahmed, and Abu Hanifa and Ahmed also, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he said, وَقَالَ مَالِكْ أَنْ يُؤَدْ وَأَبُوْ حَنِيفَ أَنْ أَحْمَدْ وَأَكْثَرُ أَهْلِ الْمَدِينَةِ The majority of the people of Al-Madina, or the scholars of Al-Madina, sorry, the people, the scholars of Al-Madina, يَجُوزُ بَيْعِ الْغَائِبْ عَلَى الصِّفَةِ Give attention to this, that's what we use in our life right now. بيع الغائب بتزي مالك أن أبو حنيفة أن الإمام أحمد رحمه الله تعالى أن some scholars in المدينة المنورة say it's okay to sell the invisible something is not there but described but described and he said إذا كانت غيبة مما يؤمن أن تغير فيه قبل القبض صفته that is if the guarantee for sure is not going to be changed. In the description, as I describe, I sell the things. There's not going to be a change at all. All right? So, according to Imam Malik, and Imam Abu Hanifa, and Imam Ahmad, and some of the scholars of the Madinah Munawwar, he said, it's okay to sell something invisible, something is not there, but described, but described, إذا كانت غيبة مما يؤمن أن تتغير. say you are sure the description is not going to be changed before you take it. you receive it. you receive it. now أبو حنيفة قال أبو حنيفة يجوز بيع العين الغائبة من غير الصفة. الإمام أبو حنيفة رحمه الله as he says in the book. he say it's okay to sell something is not visible. But described, please give me your attention to this. ثم له إذا رآه الخيار فإذا شاء أنفذ البيع وإن شاء رده. He said, Imam Abu Hanifa said, it's okay to sell something invisible, something in not here, something in not here, and and when you receive it, when you receive it, you have the choice. You have the choice. To accepted or rejected, to accepted or rejected, and this that's a good idea. You know, something is not the same. Uh, but here you describe. Now, now the point is, you accept that. Uh, please give me your attention to this. You give the transactions. I describe this laptop one hundred percent, and now you received it is the same description, and you accept the sale from the first place. You accept the sale in the first place. Now, when you receive it, it's the same thing, no change. No change. Then Imam Bahanifa said, He want if you want to accept it, it's okay. If you want to reject it, it's okay. You have the choice. He have the choice. <coughs> and I want you to think with me because we're gonna go some other opinion and see which one really we can apply in our present time right now. 
which one we can apply in our present time right now. <clears throat> and he said, وَكَذَلِكَ الْمَبِيعَ So we speak still about Abu Imam Abu Hanifa, by the way. It's speaking still about Imam Abu Hanifa. وَكَذَلِكَ الْمَبِيعَ عَلَى الصِّفَةِ مِنْ شَرْطِي عِنْدَهُمْ خِيَارِ الرُّؤِيَةِ وَإِنْ جَاءَ عَلَى الصِّفَةِ وَإِنْ جَاءَ عَلَى الصِّفَةِ It says the opinion of Imam Abu Hanifa, he said, شَرْطُ The conditions of Imam Abu Hanifa is the رُؤِيَة or the visual to see it is a choice. Is it what? A choice. إِنْ جَاءَ إِنْ جَاءَ عَلَى الصِّفَةِ The meaning, if you receive the merchandise as exactly the same thing. Exactly the same. وعند مالك, now الإمام مالك رحمه الله تعالى, say, إذا جاء على الصفة فهو لازم. According to الإمام مالك رحمه الله تعالى, if you receive it according to the description, to the description exactly the same, it's must, is must to accept it. You must to accept it because you accept it from the first place. Imam Abu Hanifa said, you have the choice. Imam Malik said, no, you must accept it. You must accept it. وعند الشافر, Imam Shafi رحمه الله تعالى says, لا ينعقد البيع أصلا في الموضوعين. According to Imam Shafi, there's another opinion here, or the first opinion of Imam Shafi, he said, you cannot, you cannot, this kind of sales is not accepted anyway. Why? Because the short Imam Abu Hanifa to see, to see the things in front of your eyes, to accept the, the contract. To accept the contract. وقد قيل في المذهب. Still, we speaking about the Imam Malik also. Say, وقد قيل في المذهب يجوز بيع الغائب من غير صفة على شرط الخيار خيار الرؤية. He said the Imam another opinion here. Now, come on, another opinion for the Imam Malik, رحمه الله تعالى. He said, وقد قيل that mean one of the opinion of Imam Malik يجوز بيع الغائب. It's okay to sell something absent, something not. Front of you, invisible, without description, but in the condition of to see it, to see it. The condition is to see it. All right. وقد وقد and he report this in Mudawana. Mudawana when the book of Fiqh of the Imam Malik, رحمه الله تعالى. All right. Now, سبب الخلاف, the reason of this agreement among the scholars regarding this issue. هو نقصان العلم المتعلق بالصفة عن العلم المتعلق بالحس وهو جهل مؤثر في بيع الشيء فيكون من الغر الكثير Again, سبب الخلاف The reason of disagreement among the scholars is the lack of knowledge of description Lack of knowledge of description And this not only to see it is you have to touch it Remember the mulama says, mulama says you have to touch it, that is part of the gharar, become like a gharar, if you didn't see it, you didn't touch it. All right, of course, uh, we will speak in maybe today or maybe next time, even the gharar, even the gharar, especially now in the present time, they really use this kind of theory uh, among the scholars, is the, the gharar, or the gharar or the, um, the uh, it will be big gharar or something huge or something minor. Something small is not going to affect. Please, again, let me repeat myself. The gharar is a huge will be affect the person or something minor. A lot of people in our present time, by the way, uh, they speak, and we're going to speak about this in more details, inshallah, uh, maybe after two, three classes. Uh, we'll speak about this. Say, a lot of uh, people, they take the minor gharar is not going to affect the buyer. It's not going to affect the buyer. It's okay to use. And some people, they say, no, the gharar in general, completely, 100% is haram. But we want to speak about it because the riba, for example, some scholars in our present time, and we're going to speak about this, inshallah, rabbil alameen, uh, some say, some scholar, this is in the present time, I said, and in that time, too. In that time, if minor, minor riba is not going to affect the person. It's not going to affect the person like a 1% one, 1 and less. It's, it's okay. Some people are going, no, 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 no. The riba is completely haram because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu al-bay' wa haram al-riba. The bay' or transaction, the selling and buying is halal and the riba is haram completely. That's done. But there is 
some examples about minor riba, minor gharar, minor jahl, minor things. We will speak about it in the future, inshallah. It is very important to know things like this in our present time, how to deal with these things in our present time, inshallah, rabbil alam. Okay. Uh, but now, in general, about what we just described in this uh, mas'ala or this problem, because this is really something very important. Uh, the problem with the ghaib one more something invisible something not in front of my eyes but described not in front of my eyes not something i cannot see but described and we deal with it a lot i want you as a student inshallah also uh, to to read about this uh, see which one which one opinion we can follow you know for example imam malik rahimahullah ta'ala and this is like very very important see is described described for me and but when I received it, it's not the same. When I received it, it's not the same. It is different. When I mean different, does mean not like the way it was described. Like laptop, some people did exaggerate in description, exaggerated in description. But when I received the laptop, it's not the same. That means this kind of sales is not accepted in our religion. In our deen is not accepted. But According to some scholar, they says, okay, you know what? You accept the deal from the first place. As you have the choice, you wanna accept it or not. Sometimes I have no choice because I received it in the mail. If I send it back, I have to pay for it. Then that is the gharar. That is the gharar. All right. Uh, so uh, so the, the, the scholar, they said, ikhtiyar al-ru'ya. What is ikhtiyar al-ru'ya? The, the visibility is the choice. The visibility is a choice, and Allah Alam, it is a choice now in our present time. You accept the deal from the first place. You see, remember uh, the conditions, you, I offer the merchandise, and you accept it or not from the first place. If you accept it from the first place, then here it becomes still gharar, but when the person have no choice, what, what I can do in this case, then I should not deal with it from the first place. I should not deal from with that from the first place. Wallahu subhanahu wa ta'ala alam. There is a, a, a riwayah, Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, taken also in the same chapter, in the same chapter. Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah ta'ala, uh, he said the riwayah uh, reported by Ibn Musayyib. So, that means Sayyid Ibn Musayyib, rahimahullah, the qala, ashab Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, the companion of the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَدَدْنَا أَنَّ عُثْمَانِ بْنِ عَفَّانِ وَعَبْدِ الرَّحْمَانِ بْنِ عَوْفْ تَبَايَعَا Say, Abd Uthman ibn Affan is a businessman. And Abd al-Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu anhu also is a businessman. And Abd al-Rahman ibn Awf, when he died, uh, he left 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 uh, gold of dinars gold. Imagine this. Now, the whole country, they have this amount of money, subhanAllah, Rabbi Amin. So, but anyway, when Abdul Rahman said, Tabaya, Qala, Hatta, Nalam, Ayyuma, Adam of Tijara, to know which one he is greater than the other one in the business, in the business transactions, because though both of them they are very rich. Fashtara Abdul Rahman and Uthman Farasan bi Arden. So, Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, Radiallahu, he bought a horse from Uthman ibn Affan, Radiallahu ta'ala, a horse, and that horse it is in the land. Is not a visible in front of Uthman ibn Affan. Is not a visible in front of the Uthman ibn Affan. He said maybe 40,000 or 4,000. They don't know exactly 40 or 4,000. Then Abu Hanifa, if you take it from kind of a transaction, it's okay to sell. To sell uh, something is not visible. Because it was in the land, it's not with him, it's not with Abdul Rahman, uh, not with Uthman, the horse is not with Uthman, it is in his land. But here, Abdul Rahman, radiallahu anhu, knows the horse when he bought it, when he bought it. So Abu Hanifa said, the bay al he said, it's okay to sell something, is not in front of your eyes, is not visible right now. But is a condition for the Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah ta'ala to know what kind the horse is different by the way between the horse male or female 
is a different between the age of the horse as well as a lot of difference in the horse is not any horse the horse the people dealing dealing with horses and Uthman and Abdul Rahman they know this kind of a transaction this no they know the horses they know the horses so Abu Hanifa said yes he bought it is is not was not was not with with Uthman but it was in the land of Uthman radiallahu Anhu, so it's okay to buy it. It's okay to buy it. And but you know the description. Knows the description. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, anyway, I stop here uh, about this chapter, especially this chapter, inshallah. But in about the ru'ya or the visible, it's really important to know it and to study it even more. If you write a research or a paper regarding this issue, would be more important, good, inshallah, benefits for all of us together, inshallah. Rabbilan. Come to a mess number two. There's a problem number two, and this is the page number 188 in your book. Uh, page number 188 in your book. Ta'khir Taslim al I make a, I don't know if there is a, in your book, if there is a, a title or not, but anyway, the title Tasli Ta'khir Delay, uh, uh, Delay the Delivery. The, delay the Delivery. And the scholar agree على أنه لا يجوز بيع الأعيان إلى أجل وأن من شرطها تسليم المبيع إلى المبتاع بأثر عقد الصفقة إلا أن مالك والربيع وطائفة من أهل المدينة أجازوا بيع الجائر الرافع. Okay, let's go uh, because this is also the chapter speaking about slavery and as you know me, I don't like to speak about the slavery because we're not uh, we're not dealing with the slavery, but we can apply this is something else in our life in our life. And he said, "Buy a rajul say and gayr muayyan." See something here. Something is not. Uh, you can sell. A person can sell something is not uh, uh, visible. Is not described. And then meaning the meaning of that. Uh, there is uh, uh, horses. Horses that we deal with horses now. And he said, "Okay, I sell you uh, the, one of the horses in my farm, so and so. All the horses, for example, white." Or all the horses is black, for example. And I say, I sell you the per, the horse is black horse, all of them black. Or the white horse, all of them white. I say, so it has to be distinguished which one, which horse. And then the delivery should be the same. When you receive it, it should be the same, even with the delay. Now the problem is that paying the money now or paying the money later, that is the delay period. The delay period. With that, so uh, some scholar they said you cannot do that, and it's true because it's something unknown, something is not visible, something that you cannot know, you know. And that is in in summary with this chapter or this mess of this problem, it has to be known. You have multiple things, and now we deal with it as I mentioned this before. Uh, that when you buy something online, they give you the picture and description. They give you a picture and description, not the specific laptop or computer or something you buy online is not the specific but you see the picture and they can send you anything from the factory manufacturer any one of the manufacturer so oh but all of them the same yes all of the same do you think we are a human being and we make mistakes sometimes you receive two laptops for example one of them working is one of them not working you have to return them back to the manufacturers so that is that money when you return it back, when you return it back, that's many shares that you pay for it. You put your credit card number and information number and the address and everything. That's me. One party now accept. The other party, when you click accept, and all the information go to them, and then they they verifying, they accept in for their part. Okay, but I don't have the mar merchandise yet. So my acceptance, I accept to buy it. I accept to buy it. So according to the majority of the scholar in our present time now, that's deal, it's okay. Could you accept it? Even with the delay, as is it uh, here, I mean the delay. But that is not nasi'ah. Remember when the riba, we have two kind of riba, riba al-fadl wa riba al-nasi'ah. The nasi'ah is the delay. We're not speaking, that's not a riba. Because you already bought it in a certain price. In a certain price. All right. Come to the third mas'ala, or the third problem, and the uh, 189. 
page number 189, I think. And the ma mukhtalifa. Ah, and now we're speaking about farms, which means uh, growing more than once in one year. It is some like the fig and some other merchandise. Uh, it is really, and even uh, the barley. We can they take the barley and and feed uh, the animals. They take that just only not from the root. They take the barley is not from just only the tub. They cut the barley and they can feed and then it will be growing. So in the one year, the barley will grow like two three times, and the fig and some other things. Some other things uh, uh, it will be growing more than once more than once please give me your attention this is really important uh, if you deal people are dealing with the farms growing more than one time in one year in one more than one time in more in one in one year so the author is making like a, a title the title Bay Umma Yusmir Butuna Mukhtala Butuna does mean more than once in one in specific year maybe once twice three times maybe more Allah knows best سأجمع فقهاء الأمصار على بيع التمر الذي يثمر بطنا واحدا يطيب بعضه وإن لم تطب جملته معا واختلف فيما يثمر بطون مختلفة وتحصيل مذهب مالك في ذلك أن البطون المختلفة لا تخلو أن تتصل أو لا تتصل. Please very important and beautiful words and he said that فقهاء الأمصار that means when he said أمل الأمصار or مصر does not mean مصر is the country called مصر is Egypt مصر in Arabic language. Mr. is Egypt, but here Mr. does mean countries, and here countries does mean we talking about Baghdad or the Kufa. There is a Kufa where is Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah taala, and Al Madina and Mecca. So the the knowledge in that period of time we took it from Al Mecca, from Al Kufa, from Egypt, and from Al Madina as well. This is the center of the knowledge, and after that become Damascus and this is call it, it is all this call it Mr. Nusr does mean one country, Amsar does mean countries. Countries. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Yusuf, Udkhulu Misra, Udkhulu Misra does mean enter here. Misr does mean not a country. Some scholar they say Masr does mean country, but here it is Egypt. Because Yusuf alayhi salam used to live in Egypt. So Misr is a country, meaning of Misr being any country, or Misr. It is in Egypt, in, in you have to know exactly. In this year, Al-Amsar, or that's the e Egypt, but it is the countries of knowledge, or the centers of knowledge. The centers of knowledge. This is Fuqaha Al-Amsar, Faqih. Fuqaha, that's mean Faqih is one Faqih, that's mean they will understand the Fiqh, call it Faqih. Fuqaha, that's mean more than two. More than two. Why not two? Two call Faqihain, or Faqihain. Faqihain, that's mean two Faqih. But more than two, the three and up, called fuqaha. Fuqaha. Al Amsar, this means the fuqaha of the countries. Said to sell tamr. Tamr means a date. And it's for one year. Some dates, some palm trees, by the way, they'll be grown only once. This is the, especially the, the yellow and the red. Uh, and the red is we once. Once. And then sometimes they make cultivation uh, in the, they bring the dates and they make it twice a year. They make it sometimes twice a year, the dates, twice a year. But it is not our topic. The Our topic now says, uh, uh, Even, you know, you have a punch of, gray, uh, of, uh, of palms, punch of palms. Sometimes you have a sweet palm and sometimes not sweet palm. You take one is sweet in the same is same punch, the same thing, the same thing. You did test one is sweet and someone is that is not really sweet. By the way, that Subhanallah by the miracle of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, that sweet one make the unsweet one sweet. So if you they cut it from the palm tree, they cut it from the palm tree. And uh, and then and you leave it for one two three days and you'll find that not sweet one the unsweet one becomes sweet and Subhanallah and by the miracle of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala so they said it's okay to sell this you know one sweet and not one sweet to have the punch but some of them supposed to be sweet and the sweet one make the unsweet one sweet Subhanallah this mean ripe this mean ripe and that is for one punch. In one year, there is no problem to sell it like this. No problem. But the 
disagreement if there is more than once per year more than once per year sometimes once sometimes twice in a parliamentary twice but some other fruits and some other uh, uh, vegetables uh, sometimes three four times in one year every season that means four season you have uh, uh, have four times subhanallah and now they have it all so different with the they put it under a plastic and the plastic make it completely change the temperature and so subhanallah is like Maryam alayhi salam you find the winter fruit in the summer and the summer fruit in the winter so now we can see this you go to the supermarket you'll find watermelon the, for the whole year not only in the summer watermelon you'll find the uh, cucumber in the whole entire year and so on so uh, now what about this if more than one at times in per year the growing the vegetable or the fruit growing in one year tahsin madhab malik rahimallah the most of the opinion in this book is madhab malik rahimallah ta'ala says madhab malik rahimallah tahsin an al butul mukhtalif takhlu the different different uh, years uh, either be continuous that mean you cut it and it grows you cut and it grows back and sometimes you need one season or one period you know like you cut it in the winter and then the autumn come and then the summer will grow up that means twice a year so you need the whole season in order for this to grow so but some like a barley for example you cut the barley you cut the barley and I'm doing that because I have experience with that because I used to be a farmer one day back home so you cut it and the, it will grow back within days so you cut it again and you feed you feed the the animals and it grows back subhanallah so what about the growing that means because when you uh, consecutive or continuous you know there is no period of time or no season and sometimes it's not lot of process that means it's not connected it's not connected it's not together what is the deal for that imam malik he makes it very specific that means there is you need like a whole season the whole period uh, in the middle in the middle between the one period but one ripe uh, and that is just like the fig for example the fig the fig some uh, some fig you have it once a year and some fig you have it twice a year but in between once you uh, pick it up from the tree and another time you need the whole season by the way the whole season in order to grow a new a new fig and the, as the example here in your book also say kashajar the team kashajar the just like the fig tree the fig tree he said فإن لم لم يكن بيع ما لم يخلق منها داخلا في ما من ما خلق and this is very clear so you sell it in the first season or the first period and you sell it and that's it okay the second period he said you cannot sell it because something is not created yet you cannot create it yet some people they buy the whole season that means the whole entire year but we said that is not accepted according to Imam Malik and that is true he said you sell what is it growing this year you're growing this period this season Allah, this season but you're not selling what it sells uh, for the next season this season we can see it is a visible touch you taste it is right and now you take everything from the tree is it going to grow again but you need the whole period maybe that period become like a drought season maybe there is no rain maybe it's going to dry maybe the tree will die some other things that means something is not created yet as we discussed uh, last uh, last week you cannot sell according to imam malik rahimahullah and believe it or not according to the many of the scholars too so in it if it is continuous like the uh, the barley, uh, as I said, فَلَيَخْلُ أَنْ تَتَمَيَّزُ الْبُطُونَ أَوْ لَا تَتَمَيَّزُ See, if this is continuous, you know, they can, in, in one year, like a barley, for example, is be distinguished, you know, the same, like the first time you cut it, it will be growing the same, or not the same. Some barley will be the same. For a few weeks, it will be growing up again, and growing up again. Same thing. But some is not. There will be the quality will be less. The quality will be less. He said in Imam Malik, so in it tasalat, if it's con continuous, consequence, say, فَلَا يَخْلُوتِ Be distinguished, the same quality or not the same quality. 
فمثال المتميز جز القصيل قصيل ذا سنين ذا بارلي وان يكد بارلي الذي يجزه مده بعد مده ومثال اس اس جز تايم افتر تايم اس تايم افتر تايم يو كرت ذس وي ذات از وي ديستينجوشد بي ذا سيم بات سم اوف ذا فيجيتابل لايك مين فور اكزامبل ذا ووتر ميلون ذا كيوكمبر ذا ايج بلانت هذا هي يور بوك ذا بامبكنز The pump. All this you cut it, but the second season is not going to be the same quality. It's not going to be the same quality. What does that mean? Say is to sell it to sell it in the same time, just the way you sell it the second time. Of course not. It has to be distinguished. It has to be distinguished, and I have to know what is what am I buying? What exactly I'm buying? All right. So. <clears throat> And also, uh, the author says, لا يجوز بيع بطن منها بشرط بطن آخر. And also, this also here a very nice uh, point uh, the author mentioned. Say, uh, to buy this year or whatever merchandise I have or, or vegetable or fruits I buy in order to buy next season. You cannot move this kind of condition. Again, let me repeat myself what the author said. لا يجوز بيع بطن منها بشرط بطن آخر. Meaning, he said, to buy right now whatever i see ripe already in order on a condition he said in a condition to buy next season why this mean to buy in one contract and that is not accepted say la yajuz that means is not accepted is prohibited is not permitted to buy this kind of season in order to buy another the second season to put in a condition in, not in order to in a condition to buy the second season that's not accepted when you have the second season you have a new contract when you have the second season and you see it in front of your eyes some of them ripe or created then i buy it otherwise is not accepted otherwise is not accepted as our author said and of course it is uh, i have many proof with that the hadith we discussed it uh, on last week uh, وأما الجمهور هي سيد أما الجمهور ذا مجرد ذا سكارة فإن فإذا هذا كله عندهم من بيع ما لم يخلق that is, as a scared I, I mentioned that that is, is the uh, uh, what you buying something is not created yet you should not say ومن باب النهي عن بيع الثمار معاومة that means next year and next year to buy in this year I'll buy uh, next year I have put a condition to buy next year but you never know next year maybe you'll dead you'll die yourself so you never know so you do not put this kind of conditions <coughs> in the contract <coughs> all right <coughs> uh, <coughs> of course the author he brought some the the uh, turnips and the carrots and the cabbage uh, so it has to be well done. I say I want you to read that. Inshallah, in more, 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 you know, it brought more vegetables and more fruits <coughs> and more fruit. Uh, this, you know, what kind of fruit, what kind of vegetables is good to know about this. The last one, I think, before the last, yeah, I, no, not the last. Uh, say about the <coughs> nuts and the almonds. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> <clears throat> the nuts and the almonds and um, and uh, the full what's call it uh, the side uh, beans. Sometimes it is uh, it, some people they buy it they buy it in in the shell and some people they, you go to the supermarket sometimes you buy it without the shell is it with the shell and or without the shell. Okay, so. فمن هذا الباب بيع الجوز واللوز والبقلة في قشري أجازه مالك ومنعه الشافعي الإمام مالك رحمه الله تعالى and believe it or not you can add also الإمام مالك and أبو حنيفة and أحمد so we have three imams رحمه الله تعالى they say it's okay to buy it in the shells cover with the shells but the Imam Shafi'i said no you have to take it out of the shell not in the shell uh, but what is uh, and they said this is uh, the reason of this agreement regarding this there is a or uh, a lacking of knowing what kind of cells 
uh, or not. There is a lacking of sales or a this the, uh, a deceiving the people or not. Uh, in reality, uh, no. In reality, no. Uh, Imam Shafi said you have to take it out, maybe because because it become like rotten. Imam Shafi said maybe become the shell, but still become rotten. But uh, uh, the majority of the people they know exactly this kind of sales and uh, this kind of merchandise. Say no, it will never become rotten. You know, whatever it is out or in, either in the shell or without the shell, uh, is the same. It's not going. To, in fact, will become inside the shell. It will be keep kept more actually secure. That's why the three imams, they say it's okay to buy uh, the, the nuts and the almonds and uh, fi, uh, uh, the food. It's okay to buy it uh, with the shell, within the shell. So it is not uh, gharar. It is not gharar. Also, he mentioned also, uh, and please give me your attention what he's saying. I don't know what is in English book. Uh, so to, uh, 